the Jordan 1 Trophy Rooms. This is quite possibly one of the most overrated and overhyped shoes I've seen in like a couple months. And that says a lot because I've actually collected almost every single unreleased and released Air Jordan and Travis Scott shoe or SB Dunk coming from Travis Scott or anything Travis Scott related. But today, I'm going to be reviewing a shoe that I can kind of understand why it's worth $2,000 plus on the resale market. But then again, I can tell you right now that it is still overrated either way. So, yeah. Let's talk about it. Alright, before I start off this video, I want to give a shout out to PoshKicks.com for sending me this pair of sneakers. And I do apologize uh, to them and to y'all for like getting this video out so late. But some personal stuff came out and my mental health comes first. But I'm still going to bring you guys this video either way. Because uh, there's money to be made. And I got a deal to be hold up my end of the deal so anyways let's start off with the shoes now starting off with the box the shipping overall took like a week or two with dhl uh, i don't know what it is with dhl now but they're taking way too long to ship and deliver their items now and you know, most resellers or like uh, replica makers are going with ups instead as it's slightly faster but still gonna take like a week or two but anyways let's get into the box now the box for the trophy rooms i can say it's actually a really good box and i really did not expect for the box to be this good and you can see it's like a two-tone light blue and darker blue gradient on it with nike air and nike branding all over it with stars and everything and um uh, if you look on the side on the size tag where it says um air jordan retro high og sp it says white black varsity red sale and sale so and i got this in a size 11 which is my true size um these actually fit true to size so if you want to go true to size you can but i always go like a half size up just so it can last me a while but getting into the shoes here's the shoes and it came in this white paper and everything and opening up the shoes like i would say that these shoes kind of conflict me in a way and let me explain because this is sort of like the chicago but it's not really a chicago if you get what i'm saying it has the basic colorway of the chicago but it's all glittery it's all glossy it has like this satin gloss like glitter effect to it now don't get me wrong it does look nice on paper but really like you're gonna have a hard time trying to find this um to match your clothes or like trying to find clothes that can match this but let's get into the sneaker now basically it's like the chicago colorway like i said and all over the overlay the toe box the heel and everything you have like this sort of like satin finish on it with a glitter effect like i said earlier and on the back heel on both sneakers you have mj's uh, signature on it as well and you also have the air jordan wings logo on both um the outer side of the sneaker as well going on to the tongue regular tongue has nike air in white on um, behind a red background and while we're actually on the top of the tongue if you look back on the tongue it actually has the date february 10th 1985 which was the game that michael jordan first played in in the all-star game and wore the i would say the trophy rooms but it wasn't really called the trophy rooms at that time i think it was actually an altered version of the chicago's i believe but i remember like that's why like these trophy rooms released is to remember like that game where Eric michael jordan the rookie was playing in the all-star game and also peeling it back um, on the inner side, on the inner sock liner, it has rumor has it on each side of the sneaker, both on the left and the right. And like I just said, the right sneaker actually has the date of the All Star game that MJ played in. On the left sneaker, on the back side of the tongue, it has the numbers. And this one is number 15 out of 12,000, which is the amount of pairs that they made for the trophy rooms. And I gotta tell you right now, Nike, y'all gotta stop like skimping out and making these shoes this limited because. It's going to cause resale um, problems and people that really, really want it aren't going to be able to get it because resellers are going to hop on the opportunity. But anyways, this one's just my pair is actually number 15 out of 12,000. I know other pairs is going to be at random going on to the insole. Now, regular insole, but the only thing that's different this time around, it has the Air Jordan Trophy Room logo that's on the uh, heel of the insole on both sneakers. And going back to the outer side, regular Nike swooshes in black, just like the Chicago's. Going on to the outsole, you actually have this, I would say, translucent, um, I would say off-white kind of, or I would say eggshell kind of colored outsole. And it also has the red and blue stars from the All-Star game uh, on the bottom as well. So I actually like that detail. 
and also one last thing that I also forgot to mention is that uh, there is two things I need to mention now uh, inside the box it also came with this little ticket that from trophy room and it's basically like the seating or like the seating ticket for the all-star game that happened in um uh, 1985 and also the second thing I also want to mention is that this is actually uh, one of the two variants of the trophy room ones now one actually released on sneakers like they always do the other version came out on trophy rooms website and there was a raffle for that and I don't understand the point of a raffle if you're still gonna pay for it but the my pair came with white and red laces and also the standard black laces the trophy room version comes with the blue laces as you guys probably saw in pictures that I'm showing at the beginning and also up here on the screen right now so that kind of caused a little bit of commotion with like like trying to figure out which one like is trying to be distinguished and there's two different versions so really they just gave replica makers an excuse to try to like justify like why is there two different versions why is there two different shapes on it so really at the end of the day it's not really gonna matter it's still the children rooms at the end of the day and that's pretty much it about the shoes and the last thing that I also want to talk about is the resale and like why I personally don't like this shoe now the main reason why I don't like this shoe is because uh, it's not really a Chicago now I really wanted the Chicago's but I ended up getting the trophy rooms instead but not to say that the trophy rooms is a bad shoe I just personally can't see myself wearing anything white and red or if I could I would probably have to mix it up with a lot of white and a little bit of red maybe but um, the main reason why I don't really like this shoe at first is because it kind of looks washed out It kind of looks like a little bit boring if you ask me and the fact that the light also gleams on different angles Making it lighter and also making it darker in certain areas That's one of the main reasons why I didn't really like this shoe But I sort of think it's decent in a way. It's kind of hard to explain But the other reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I've seen this shoe go for three thousand dollars for a shoe that is pretty much based on the Chicago's and is not even reselling for the amount that the Chicago is that I think it's really insane to think about how a shoe that only costs like $30 to make is still reselling for $3,000 uh, two months later after its release but anyways let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comments down below I'm I'm gonna try and throw these bad boys on feet for a little bit and um, I may not wear this but at the end of the day I can always find someone who wants it but anyways let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comments down below also be sure to go check out Posh Kicks' website and all their info will be down in the description down below go check out their Instagram they make really good sneakers as well but without a way this is your boy Guap make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new and I'm out, bro.